Yeah, welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're going to be going over all the stuff that came out today in Season 2 of NBA 2K25. My team, we're going to be talking about what they've released, uh, what's been going on. Also, sorry for the late upload. Um, I've been busy today. I've been out of the house, so I've not been able to upload today just yet. Um, I don't know if I'll do another video after this today. This might be the only video today. Then we do gameplays tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Um, so that is why this hasn't been any uploads so far today, but this will be the first one of the day. So yeah, guys, um, we got some, obviously season two, you know, season two is now here. So let me know what you guys have been grinding, what you guys are going to be grinding this season. Um, and you know, I have to say season two, it is looking pretty damn good to start, um, the season. So let's start by talking about obviously level 40. So we know we ended up getting, you know, some good players. We got all this stuff. But we obviously go ahead and get ourselves a level 40 pink diamond Tyrese Halliburton. So this Tyrese Halliburton, um, I did try out uh, Tyrese Halliburton's release. Um, now the problem is, 2KDB has been down for like this game so far. And if you don't know what 2KDB DB is, it pretty much stands for 2K Database. It's ran by this guy not affiliated with 2K. And pretty much he just, that's where all the cards are. And you can see every animation it is honestly amazing, and honestly, I hope that website comes back soon, because it'll be really helpful. So, that means we don't know what the release shot timings are, but I did just go into freestyle um, in play now and try out Tyrese Halliburton's release. I will say this, it is a lot faster and better than last year. This card will be good. The only thing you can't do is leaders, but besides that, I think this Tyrese Halliburton will be very good, regardless of if you buy the Pro Pass or not. Um, if you do go and buy the Pro Pass, you will obviously probably... You know, if you buy a Pro Pass, you get this Diamond Carl Anthony Towns and some other cool stuff as well, uh, which is around, I mean, I don't know how much it is, but I think for me it's like 17 bucks and the Hall of Fame's like 33 for me. But, um, yeah, I don't know about the rest of the world. But if you get the Hall of Fame Pass, you get a 15% XP bo uh, bonus and plus 10 level skip. So you'll start on level set if you buy it straight away. Um, so, yeah, guys, um... Let me know, will you guys be buying the Hall of Fame Pass or the Pro Pass? I don't think I will. Um, I, I think I'll do Nobody Spent this season. I think that's probably probably the probably the goal this year, to do Nobody Spent this year. Sorry, not this season. Um, so yeah, Nobody Spent's really fun. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about the pack drop in a minute. Um, and we'll talk about some cool cards that we got. But um, yeah, let me know. Will you guys be buying the Pro Pass? Um, if not, um, yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are on that Tyrese Halliburton and just this season in general. But yeah, guys, uh, season two, in terms of reward progress, is looking pretty decent. Obviously, we're going to go and get some other stuff as well, like Diamond James Worthy. If you buy the Pro Pass, that's 25k MT, so that's big there. Heaps of Ascension picks. There's a free 10k there. Uh, 90 plus overall option pack. That's free to everyone. Uh, two hour XP coin, 5k, more Ascension picks. A deluxe pack, Will Spin, could be cool. Um, nothing, 90 plus option pack. Like, there is a lot of really good... Um, stuff going on, I have to say. And this, you have to keep in mind, this also is a season 2 90 plus overall player, which means that could be, like, really, really good. Like, season 2 could mean pretty... Wait, hang on. If you do season 2, and, like, for example, you got that today, would you technically just get a guaranteed amethyst or higher from Poetry in Motion? Because that could be crazy if you go ahead and get, like, a pink diamond. Like, I'm just saying. Keep that in mind. If anyone gets to level 25 today, let me know in the comments if that is something that actually happens. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for season progress, uh, or about it. Um, let's go over to challenges. You can go and get three uh, Poetry Emotion Deluxe Packs. Uh, you just have to do challenges. You get a shard piece every time. You need three shard pieces to get one pack. Um, and you can do that three times. So you can see you just do a bunch of challenges. I've done a few. Um, so yeah, all you guys have to do is just do some challenges, and you can get yourself some free players from this Poetry Emotion set. And you never know, you could get lucky and get yourself a pick diamond Kevin Durant. So that's cool. And then, guys, there's also this. So play three King of the Court games. King of the Court, if you don't know, is free to everyone this week is, weekend to play. So you didn't have to qualify uh, by winning five games in Showdown. All you had to do... Or, you don't have to do anything. You can just get straight into King of the Court. And literally, I'm pretty sure you can, You can even if you lose all of them, you can play three King of the Court games. And you will get this shattered prize piece. Um, I will probably do this. I don't know if I will or not. But I'd say I will just to get that uh, shattered prize piece. Because I know I'm not going to win many games in King of the Court. But a uh, cool little thing there. I don't know how many shattered prize pieces we're going to need. But I'm assuming it won't just be one. But if it is, cool. Um, but then this is where challenges get big. This is where we get some crazy stuff. 
And um, let's start by going over Season 2 Park Conqueror. For 5 wins, we did talk about this in the video yesterday, but for 5 wins, you get an 84 plus overall premium uh, pack. Now, let's just put this, let's just say this. You need, these are all wins in the Triple Threat Park, whether it's online, like Triple Threat Online, or you're just playing, like, co-op with your friends. It just has to be wins in one of those modes. So, 5, you get an 84 plus. 10, you get an 87 plus. 25, you get a 90 plus premium, so that's nice. These are premium as well, but... Anyways, 50 park wins. You get yourself 25 KMT. This should be achievable throughout the season. I think if you, like, even if you get, like, three wins a day, like, that'll probably be enough to get 25 KMT. So make sure you are playing your park, guys. I played a little bit today. Not too much because I've been out of the house. I just played a bit this morning um, and I got a couple wins. So that was nice. Uh, 75 park wins. You get a gems of the game, 90 plus overall option pack. So it's just a guaranteed Amethyst option pack. That could be decent if you get, like, an Anthony Davis or a Harrison Barnes. 100 park wins, you get a diamond hidden gems pack. I think this should at least be people's goal if you're going to want to play park uh, because this is huge. Like, if you go get, like, a Jared Jackson, a Paolo Bencaro, who we're going to talk about in a minute, um, or, like, even a diamond Damari Carroll or something, I've heard that card is crazy. Um, yeah, you could... That could change your team up completely, especially if you do them pretty fast. Uh, 150 park wins, you get a Season 2 Hall of Fame option pack. A Hall of Fame badge option pack, sorry. I don't know how many you can pick, but I'm assuming it's just one. For 200 wins. Now it's starting to really get up there. 50 KMT. Another thing where it's like, if you are aiming for 50 KMT, 50 KMT is a lot of MT, especially if you're a nobody spent player. Heaps. But then, it doesn't stop there. 250 wins, another Diamond Hidden Gems pack. And then, for a whopping 500 wins, you get a... Le like, that's... 500 wins is a lot. Legend Badge Award pack. I don't know if I'm going to get to 500 wins. Will I try? Maybe. But, um, yeah. Let me know, guys. Are you going to be trying to get 500 park wins? Because... There's a, there's a couple grinds you have to choose from this season. That's what I've noticed. And I, I do like it. I do have to say, I do like that idea from 2K. Um, but yeah, look, 500 wins, but you don't just get a legend badge. You also go ahead and get a 95 plus overall hidden gems, which is like the grand prize. You go ahead and see, you go ahead and get a pink diamond. Like, uh, those pink diamond hidden gems are pretty much all good. It's probably a couple with garbage releases, but hey, um, you get a 95 plus. And he can't really complain at that at the end of the day. So, yeah, that is for Park. Um, now, Showdown also has one of these. Now, it's just... There's only one objective. It's just win 250, which is... I just say just. 250 is a lot. I, I, I saw something... Uh, I think Lethal2K tweeted it. Um, I think he said something like, if you were to win every single game non-stop, it would take five days. So, for example, if you started from, like, now, and then you won every game... So you play 250 games, 1, 250. It would take five days to do this. So that is not easy by any means, but you get a Legend Badge Pack and you get a 95 plus overall hidden gems. So let me know, are you guys going to be grinding any of these? If not, um, there is still stuff for you if you don't want to do that. There is domination. And this is something that I will go over quickly here. You can see there's a couple objectives with one domination. Like you get a bunch of XP pretty much for just winning domination games. And then you get rep times too for getting that done. So I guess that's cool. And then there's these season two rewards as well. But let's go ahead and talk about domination right now, actually. Now, domination. Obviously, there's this new ABC's domination. And as you can see, I have started grinding towards this. Got the first page done. Um, you can see, like, Team A, like, I'll just show you guys an example. If I compare teams, like, this is the Team A, you can see, like, that's the Team Universe, and you just have to beat it on pro difficulty by winning at least 10 points or more to get the final prize, which is obviously after you beat all these teams on the hardest difficulty, Contavious, Caldwell, Pope, uh, Diamond 2. I really need a shooting guard, which is why I want to get this card. And this might, honestly, like... Obviously, there's, like, the park grinds of that. But if you're someone that likes to grind offline more and doesn't feel like sweating that much, I highly recommend playing this domination. Like, just look how much MT you get here. If you max out MT every game, so if you get the max amount of MT every game of domination, which I have had so far, and I've only won games by, like, 20 because I haven't really been focusing that much, you get 2,500 MT. So if you do the math, right, five games on the first page, Right, that is a lot of MT. In fact, I'll do it right now. Let me pull out the calculator because I can't be bothered to use my brain right now. So 2,500 um, times by 5 equals 12,500 MT. So this is already 12.5k MT if you max it all out. And then if you get all these, that's another 10k on top of it from getting 15 stars on this page. So that is already 22.5k. And then if you do that, every single thing, you get 
easily over 100k or just just over 100k i don't know but you're gonna make coins and then even if you and then you're gonna get another 15k there a hall of fame badge option pack there and then contavious caldwell pope i have to say i think that's really good now i don't know how hard these ones are the ones with like alliteration b or like team brown team edwards team green i'm assuming the to like team smith for example like that would only be players with the name smith maybe i don't know that would make sense like team day, I, I don't know. It, it it's kind of confusing, but we don't really know yet. But I am grinding towards this, and so far, guys, I've made a lot of, of MT. So I would definitely recommend this domination grind. Don't worry about these ones anymore. I would definitely be starting to grind this one because, in my opinion, it's worth it. I've tried out that Contavious Caldwell Pope release, um, and it is very good. Now let's talk about the cards. So. Actually, what I'll do real quick, I'll just show you this Contavious Caldwell Pope. You can see 6'5 shooting guns, not great. 93 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 75 ball handles, not that good. Really good defending, um, not great rebounding, and pretty good speed. So, yeah, and he's also got like Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Session Specialist, Gold Limitless, Gold Interceptor, Gold On Ball Menace, like Silver Movable Enforcer. He has some pretty good badges, and you can obviously badge you up as well. Um, I think for a free card, it's very, very good. And I think it's, he'll be worth the grind. But I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the cards we got today in the promo before we wrap this video up. Well, it is a pretty good drop today for all players. Because if you like spending money, you're going to like this drop. If you don't like spending money, maybe not as much. But look, let's just talk about it. So, first of all, Pink Diamond Kevin Durant. This guy... Well, he's probably the best card in the game. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if we're not talking about Goat Tatum, this is probably the best card in the game that you could, you know, get, I would say, like from PAX. Um, Jimmy Butler looks really good as well. He He's going to be a problem defensively, and he'll be hard to get past. Uh, and Moses Malone, he's got a 63 ball, so... Yeah, um, he's just going to kind of be that inside setter, I guess. Like, you know, like an old setter, I guess. I say an old setter. A center that would play in like the early 2000s, not a stretch big. That that's what that's what I'm looking for. But if we, you know, go past these, because obviously, if you're a nobody spent player, you're not affording a 1.9 million coin card. Like, look, unless you've got like, unless you've pulled something crazy like a Durant, I, it's going to be very unlikely you get this card if you're nobody spent. We got some other cards. These are all the cards that we got. You can see I've already gotten a few of them. Um, and yeah, I think this set for budget players is. It's, it's close with last week. I'm going to say it's just a bit better than last week, but it's very close. This Paolo Bencaro. This Paolo Bencaro. He might be like the second best small forward in the game behind Kevin Durant. Look at these stats. 96 driving dunk, 88 three ball, 86 ball handle. Defense is awesome. 94 rebounding, 90 speed with ball. Like, look at this. And then six Hall of Fames with 24 gold badges. That is a lot of badges. And one thing I want to uh, quickly mention about this Paolo Bencaro diamond, if you didn't know, he had a hidden gems diamond, and that has now been completely removed from um, this page, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's, like, I checked I checked when the, when the cards first came out, and he was not here. Let me just confirm this, because he was 94 rated, because I'm pretty sure he's gone. And if he is gone, that means that these cards have already been released, um, like I talked about the other day, and they're just removing them. Like, there's a lot of 94s, and I'm pretty sure Paolo Bencaro isn't one of them. Um, by the way, this guy stinks. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think Paolo Bencaro's got... I don't think... Yeah, it's not there anymore. So there's something. They have been removing cards from uh, those hidden gems. So that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, look... Let's talk about the rest of this set. We got this Jamal McGlory guy, who I thought was going to be maybe that next guy that is going to be crazy. Well, I was wrong. He's got a 52 three ball. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. Look, if he's got a like, a, if he has a 70 three ball, he's a lot better. But he's, I don't know how much he is. He's not. He's like maybe 80k. I have no idea. But yeah, not great. Um, but oh, sorry, we forgot to mention this Paolo Bencaro. Look at this price. 500k, and that's not even badged out, I don't think. Yeah, that's not badged out at all. Badged out much this one will sell for. This is 500k. Um, yeah, very, very expensive. Um, then we got Kyle Lowry. Just an undersized point guard, really. But, I mean, if you're a Raptors fan, I mean, I'm sure you'll be happy with this card. This Tim Hardaway, I might do a gameplay on him, and I'll tell you why. Number one, he's very cheap. He's like 50k, I think. He was 50k. I saw a couple. Yeah, 50k. Um... And he has Paddy Mills base, which is like one of the craziest jump shots in this game. So, 
yeah, he has a really, really good jump shot. Um, so, yeah, we might have to look into him more. This Manu Ginobili came out as well. I think he'll be okay, but I don't see him being anything special. Fun fact, I missed I missed a 30k snipe of him before. Uh, not going to live that one down. But if you're a budget player, this is where you listen up because this is big for us nobody spent players because we got a beast, Trevor Ariza. This card, man, 90 offense, 94 defense, 6 foot 8 small forward power forward, 86 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, Okay, defending, but it's not like it's not bad. Pretty good speed, and he yeah he's got look not the greatest badges. I haven't put any badges on him. I would recommend putting badges on him, but us nobody spent players. We can praise the Lord because we have gotten ourselves a good card here. If I find him in the auction house, he's not 50k. He is like 25k. This is what we need to see, man. This is. Awesome from 2K. I have to say, this guy's in my starting lineup. He is so good. The release is amazing. There will definitely be a gameplay on this guy at some point. I promise you that right now. Buy this Trevor Ariza if you're nobody spent because he is going to be good for you. I promise. He'll be awesome. Because everyone was talking about that Ruby Trevor Ariza, the gems of the game one. This Amethyst is a level higher than that. Trust me, he is so good. But anyways, let's move on. Ruby Kevin Martin. Once again, another pretty budget player. 6'7 shooting guard. He has an 88 three ball. Good ball handle. Pretty bad defense. Not great rebounding. Not the best athleticism either. Badge-wise, he's not great either. But he's going to be able to shoot that three ball with a good release, and he's a 6'7 shooting guard. Can't ask for much more than that. This Andrea Bagnani, another pretty good budget card. A 7-foot setter. 84 three ball. That's great. The only thing stopping this guy from being a very, very good budget setter, probably the best in the game, is his speed. Yeah, they cooked his speed, I'll be honest. But look, it's a Ruby card. You can't expect too much. I picked him up for like 3,000 coins. He's so good as a pick and popper, trust me. Steph Curry and Andrea Bagnardi on the pick and pop it is crazy, trust me. Uh, but yeah, and then there's, there's this Isaiah Harden start. I just got him out of the locks pack. I haven't used him yet. But yeah, even this Marquise Daniels, I want to give him a try. 6'6 six, six shooting guard. He looks pretty good. He can dunk. He can shoot to an extent. Defense is okay. Speed's good. Um... Yeah, he looks okay. But, um, yeah, guys, and then we got a bunch of other randoms. I will say as well, this Jarvis Hayes actually looks very decent for a, an Emerald. 87 three ball, 80 driving dunk. Good defense. In fact, he probably has better all-round stats than this Marquise Chris. I would not be surprised. Maybe even this Kevin Martin. Do not sleep on this Jarvis Hayes. I'm telling you right now, unless he has a bad release. I haven't tried out his release. I will try him out at some point, though. So, yeah. And then we got these other guys as well. Look, I don't know. Um... Only thing I remember about a Donald Foil was his like token market card from like 2K20, I think. Yeah, that was a that was a long time ago. But I used him in my triple threat team and gave him a diamond contract because I would just grind out triple threat offline. And yeah, he was good. So yeah, for nostalgia vibes, that's cool. Uh Speedy Claxon is just fast. Courtney Alexander, yeah, look. And then it's just kind of there's a bunch of random other guys that unless you've got amazing Bulldogs you haven't heard of. But yeah, guys, those are my thoughts for Season 2 at the moment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Sorry for the longer video today. But yeah, guys, we're just getting you more content, I guess. And um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. For anyone that stick to the end, leave a like and subscribe. And I appreciate you watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, we're trying to hit 700 by the end of October. So uh, it's the 19th right now, and we got until the 31st. We can get there. We're 20 like 23 away so hit that sub button we are on the road to 700 and i'll see you guys in the next one peace